In this Neuro Solutions tip box, we will be discussing how to set up a time series prediction in Excel with Neuro Solutions. For this example, we will be using the Mount Washington data set for predicting the amount of snowfall on the ground one day into the future. Looking at this data set, columns B through D are various measurements of temperature. Column E is a measurement of the precipitation for the day and column F is the amount of snowfall recorded for the day. What we want to predict is how much snow will be on the ground for the next day. So first, to set up the data to predict one day into the future for the on-ground column, we need to shift the data up by one. If we wanted to predict two days into the future, we'd shift it up by two and so on. To shift the data, we'll go to the Neuro Solutions menu choose preprocess data and shift. We want to shift the data up by the amount of 1. Press OK. To tag the columns, simply click and drag for your inputs. Right click, choose tag data, columns as input. The same thing for your desired output. Our desired output is now column H. We'll right click, tag data, columns as desired. Next, to tag the rows, we'll go to the Neuro Solutions menu, choose tag data, rows by percentages. For this problem, we'll go ahead and choose 15% for cross validation and 15% for testing. Press OK. Now to create our temporal network, we'll need to go to the Neuro Solutions menu, choose Create Open New Network and New Custom Network. In the Neural Builder dialog, we will select the Time Lag Recurrent Network and press Next. On the next panel, you will need to specify the type of memory you'll be using, such as Gamma, Laguare, or TDNN. For this example, we're going to choose the default and leave it at Gamma, and leave the default as focused. Press Next. We'll go ahead and leave the processing elements at the default of 8, our learning algorithm as Levenberg Marquardt, so we can take advantage of our Neuro Solutions Accelerator GPU processing. And we'll go ahead and press build. Now, as I mentioned during the, the creation, we're actually going to be using our GPU to accelerate uh, the training. So to enable this, we will right click on the back static control and choose properties and we want to choose Use GPU. So now we'll go back into Excel, go to the Neuro Solutions menu, Train Network, Train. It's going to prompt us to save the breadboard. So I'll go ahead and just leave it as the default name and press Save. For this, we want to terminate after, we'll say, 250 epics, and press OK. By using the Neuro Solutions Accelerator module, we're able to accelerate the training times, uh, in some cases from hours to minutes. Uh, normally, without uh, running this through the uh, Accelerator module, uh, this particular training run can easily take uh, between a half an hour and an hour depending on your system uh, specifications. But as you can see for uh, this training run with Accelerator enabled, uh, it's only going to take us approximately two minutes to actually complete this run. So looking at our network, uh, it trained pretty good. Uh, the final MSC actually ended on uh, the last EPIC, which was 1,000, with a 0 0.03 uh, minimum MSC, which is the mean squared error. 
Uh, so that could tell you that training for a little bit longer could improve that the error. Um, you could also experiment with using different memory types such as the TDNN or the Laguari both as focused or unfocused. Um, and then you can also uh, try to experiment with the number of taps uh, which is the number of memory taps that it actually goes back uh, through time uh, by using the Varia parameter option uh, which is available in the Neuro Solutions menu under Train Network and Varia parameter. We'd like to thank you for taking the opportunity to watch our Neuro Solutions tip box. For other tip box videos, please visit our website or our YouTube channel. For any questions regarding Neuro Solutions or any of our software products, please feel free to call us at 352-377-5144 or email us at info at nd.com.